What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. This is the last breakdown of his interview with uh, Coogan Cassius with IFL TV. And, of course, he was asked about Barry Hearn's statements, you know, and, you know, there's an uproar right now with the LDBC and, you know, other uh, other channels that didn't like the words that Barry Hearn used, or the analogy, rather, that Barry Hearn used in um, depicting how things used to be versus how things are today. You know, and it was piss poor. It was. It was no, um, there's nothing else to say about it. Now, what Anthony Joshua said regarding this was that Dillian should have took him and, you know, outside of that and publicly explained what he meant by what he said. You know what I mean? If he had nothing to hide. Because that way, people would have knew what he meant and who he was referring to when he said what he said. He said he was the slave masters. Of course, I counterpunched it and I broke it down. But it would be better for Dillian White because those type of words could make, you know, it's easy to look at that. Those aren't the best words to say. You know, we are the slave masters especially with Dillian White, and Dillian White should have allowed, or Barry should have um, just brought it all to the forefront and said, hey, well, hey, this is what he meant for what it is, you know, just in case people don't know what he meant and why he said what he said, you know what I mean? And it does need more elaboration. It, did, it does need more detail explaining what he meant because a lot of people took it for what it was because it's up in the air, because there's no really no explanation. For all other people ran with it, could say, hey, oh, was he trying to say he's a slave master? Of course, that's what other people are going to say right off the bat, right? They're going to say that right off the bat, like, oh, yeah, that's what he meant. They used to be slave masters back in the day. That's what Deontay Wilder said, right? Deontay Wilder has the following, the power of the LDBC, along with other channels that support that type of narrative. So, you know... To shut that down, to counterpunch all that, it should have been Dillian White because that's who he was talking to. He was talking to Dillian White. He was talking to Oscar Rivas. He was talking to a lot of, uh, to, talking to really specifically for Dillian White where you have to respect these fighters now versus what they used to do back in the day. You know, him, Don King, Bob Arum, et cetera, et cetera. Whoever else was in the promotional game back at that time and the type of contracts that they had were something like a slave contract. It was a damn highway robbery, right? It was a jip. It was a bamboozle. It was a ripoff. That's what he meant by that. He could have used any of those words to say what he said. We used to rip you guys off. Now, he could have said that and no one would have took offense because that wouldn't have been nothing sensitive or no sensitive words spoken because people knew how promoters were. Look at Don King. He was the, probably the worst of the worst are the best of the best of the worst when it came to that situation because he had more of a stigma than any other promoter. You know what I mean? Other people like Shelly Finkel, right? <laughs> he had a bad reputation when it came to certain money aspects of people not feeling they got the right share of the money or a fair share of the money or something really wasn't right in this negotiation with this contract. You know what I'm saying? too many hidden things that weren't like, you know, uh, explained. And Don King was the worst. And Don King is African American. Don King is black. Okay. So that's really what Anthony Joshua was explaining. And I do agree. He should have elaborated on that more after finding out, after having that conversation with Eddie Hearn, when his son told him, Hey, you know, they're going to spend that shit in case when they do, be ready with your explanation of what you truly meant in your heart. Barry Hearn already said like, hey, I'm too old to lie. So by God, tell the truth and elaborate on what you said. He's a good talker. He's a smooth talker. You know, he's an old school British promoter. 
So he knows how to talk. So he knows how to explain himself. By God, he should have had that platform or created that platform, him along with Dillian White, to explain what he meant when he said what he said, besides what people think or can assume what he meant, because that's all we're doing and that's all we're seeing. And that's all that's happening right now. So, no, that's what Anthony Joshua said. He said, I know Barry Hearn. I don't see him as a racist. I'm a pretty good judge of character, you know. So, um, but that's what he said, and I agree with that. You guys tell me what you think about Anthony Joshua's comments regarding this matter. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.